So here is probably a vessel. And we're going to look for that beading. <laughs> we'll put neck, color huh? on simply because color will find our vessel. Ah, starting to see something right down here. Two vessels coming in right here. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one you're looking for. And it's pulsing, so focus in on that. There you go. You can twist just a little more, just fill that set. Perfect. Okay, so there's your carotid. And you can see it pulsing. Now, with vessels like this, you're never ever parallel with flow, right? It just doesn't happen in the body. So we're just going to put a cursor on and it will have a correction on it. See how it has the green angle correct on it, this little green line? Our cursor is actually like this, but the, it's going to say, okay, well, you're not parallel with flow in a vessel that isn't in the heart. And so I'm going to actually, um, here's our, it says pulsed weight angle on here. I'm just going to line that up with the vessel. You see that? Okay. And our little dash is right there, so it's going to sample blood flow right there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit pulsed wave. And it Very actually nice. has, a, it has a nice feature on it for you. I'm going to freeze this. So this is her pulsatile carotid flow, and it tells you what the velocity is at peak systole and end diastole. That's what these stand for. So that's a meter, almost a meter per second, 97, 93 centimeters per second at systole and 26 at diastole cool. at its lowest. Okay, we're going to save that. So I don't know what your goal is for your class, but you don't know. Okay. They want to measure so you the should plaque in the artery. Yeah. yeah. I'm 20 year olds. <laughs> <laughs> so the velocity would change, right? So you need to do some research because I don't know what that is for velocity, normal ones in carotids. Is that 